everyone and welcome to my channel Let's Get Lux. Thank you so much for joining me today. It has been such a long time since I've had a chance to post a video so I wanted to do this quick video to update you on why it's been so long, tell you about how I'm so inspired right now and I'm hoping to pass it along to you as well and also of course to give you the quick update on the giveaway. So earlier this year a family member who I'm very close to went through a bit of a crisis and it was just clear to me that all the energy and time and devotion and thought that I was putting into YouTube really needed to be diverted to help that family member in need. And I'm sure that any of you would have made the same choice. So just as I was starting to think about maybe coming back to YouTube, I ended up getting sick and right after that we had the fires in Southern California. And right about the same time as the fire started, we also had a mass shooting at the Borderline Bar and Grill which is probably 10 minutes from my house. So I know that this is a luxury channel, but I just felt compelled and inspired to share some things that have really been brought home to me this year, particularly in the last few weeks. Number one, stuff is just stuff. Now, I understand that we all love our luxury goods and that's why you're probably watching this channel, but I have to tell you, when we had to evacuate our house, I was surprisingly zen about it. I thought that I would be upset about this lifetime of memories and material goods that I've accumulated over time but for some reason when we had to evacuate and the fire was close and we really weren't sure if our house was going to be standing at the end of it it really just crystallized in my mind what the important things were and I'm sure you know what the important things were but it was you know the kids making sure their kids were handling it okay um, making sure my husband as a first responder was okay making sure our pet was okay all of the other things just did just fell by the wayside I did not care it could have been a different story if we'd actually lost our house maybe I really would have felt that loss in a way that I can't imagine right now so I know it's cliche you know the important things are friends and family and not the stuff but this experience just made me realize that in a way that I don't think I've ever realized it before kind of related to that my husband's a first responder, and so he worked the sergeant's funeral, the sergeant who died at Borderline, and then the next day he was helping the community handle the fires. And I will be the first to admit that sometimes I do take people for granted in my life, and I try not to, and it's something that I really want to be thoughtful about. And the recent events just brought home to me that, that you really have to stay cognizant of where you are in your relationships with people. You have to let people know how important they are to you whenever you get the chance. And I don't mean that you have to be writing poetry to people every day. Try to find a moment in every day, just a moment where you express in some way to someone you care about how much they mean to you. I also want to mention that disasters happen, so prep as much as you can. I know that we can't prepare for everything, but there are things you can do. You can get insurance, and not only get insurance, but be sure, I mean, because I feel like I'm talking to a lot of people who have luxury goods, be sure to videotape around your house what is in your house. Videotape your bags, videotape your jewelry, videotape things that are worth something so that you can share that with the insurance company so that you can be covered in the event anything happens. So the third thing it made me realize is life is short. It can be gone in a second. It's a little bit scary how that is and you have to do things that bring you joy. And it could be big things, it could be small things, but you have to do things that make you, that make you happy and that fulfill you. And that's actually why I decided to jump feet first back in to YouTube because this does bring me joy. It makes me happy. As much as I enjoy building up a luxury collection from scratch, it would be a lot, it just wouldn't be as meaningful for me. It wouldn't be as fun for me if I weren't sharing it with a community that also appreciated the same things. And the reason why I know recommitting to YouTube is the right decision is because once I made the decision, I could not sleep. Even though I'm exhausted, I am exhausted <laughs> from having two little boys and a full-time job and a long commute. There were so many ideas that were going through my head. There's so many videos I wanted to film. There are so many Instagram posts I wanted to post and some of my YouTube and Instagram friends I wanted to get in touch with again. I just feel like I can't contain my excitement. So it has to be the right decision to come back. And then lastly, I feel like we see a lot of bad stuff on the news and it's depressing and demoralizing. And but after borderline and after these fires and during these fires, including the fires up north in Northern California, multiple people died, thousands of people lost everything they had. There was an outpouring of love and support from around the country. It was really heartening and as tragic as these things were, I was grateful for the opportunity that it gave people to demonstrate their humanity, their basic humanity. And that's the part that I wanted to share with you today. That's what I was inspired to share with you today because I feel like we all have the power to show that humanity and to make this world a better place and to make someone's day better. 
you kind of forget the power that you have to make someone's world better. So all that goodness I saw after Borderline and after the fires, I want to keep that going. I want to pass that on. So here's my call to action to you. Sometime in the next couple days, do a random act of kindness. It can be the smallest thing. It can be smiling at somebody who walks by. It could be being polite to a telemarketer. It could be anything. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, and you might think this is stupid and small, but let me just tell you why I'm doing it. So I'm going to be going to Starbucks later because as I said, I am exhausted. And there's a drive through Starbucks that's by my house. I'm gonna drive through, I'm gonna get myself a latte, and then I'm gonna pay for the person behind me. Now when that person driving behind me comes up to pay, I'm gonna be gone. It's completely anonymous. I'll already have driven off. But what I'm hoping is that doing that for the stranger behind me will help that person feel lucky that day, will brighten that person's day. Maybe they're having a bad day and it'll make them happy. Chances are that person was evacuated during the fires. Who knows what happened to their house? And maybe, just maybe, they'll realize that this is something that they can do for other people too that's really easy and hopefully they'll pass it on. So maybe you think that's a dumb example. It doesn't matter. The whole point of this is don't judge. Just don't judge. Don't think. Just do something nice. The second thing I want to do, if it's okay with you guys because you're my viewers and it actually would potentially impact you, is instead of doing a giveaway next time, what I want to do is I want to take the money that I would have spent on a giveaway and I want to give it to a charity. So you, if you watch my Mother's Day video, you've heard about this charity. It's called Kiva.org and basically it's microfinancing for people around the world. So you can take, let's say I take $200 and I, I provide it in the form of loans to different small businesses so that people can get on their feet. It might be helping a woman who's trying to start a farm in Africa, you know, so that she can help feed her family. So you're loaning that money and then when she pays that money back, you take that money and you loan it out to someone else. So it's one of those gifts that keeps on giving and you're really helping people throughout the world have a better life. So if you guys don't mind that I do that instead of a giveaway, I think that's what I'm gonna do next time. And then obviously I would involve you in the decision-making process in terms of you know voting on who we should be giving those loans to <clears throat> or what types of businesses. So that's what I have in mind. I really feel like even if you do small things to make the world better, if we're all doing small things, we might actually make a difference. And comment down below right now what your random act of kindness is going to be, or if you don't know what it's gonna be right now, then after you've done your random act of kindness, be sure to come back and comment down below and let me know what it was. Okay, now finally, probably what most of you have been waiting for uh, is the giveaway information. I actually contacted the winners quite a while ago and um, put their names in the description box, but in case you haven't seen that, here are the giveaway winners. We have the second place winner who won some fun beauty products, and then the first place winner who won the $100 gift card. Congratulations to the giveaway winners. Thank you so much to all of you who subscribe to my channel and support this channel. I love doing this. I love our community. I can't wait to do the next giveaway, which will be to kiva.org. And stay tuned for more videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.